Hello, and welcome to this video demonstration on generating rubrics for assessment and feedback with AI, presented by the Columbia Center for Teaching and Learning as part of the Teaching and Learning with AI initiative. In this video, we will use ChatGPT 4.0 to show how you can partner with AI to create a rubric for an assignment to transparently and consistently evaluate and provide feedback on student work or performance. Rubrics are an assessment tool that can help make explicit an assignment's goals and expectations, while also illustrating for students the key elements of an assignment. They typically consist of three elements. Evaluation criteria, assessment values, and a description of each assessment value. For rubrics to be most effective and beneficial to you and your students in the feedback and grading process, they should align with the assessment learning objectives of a course or assignment. AI can act as a thought partner when it comes to getting started, providing suggestions for criteria to include and ensuring clarity and transparency. You may even consider leveraging an AI co-constructed rubric as the springboard for a rubric generation activity with your students. Let's get started. In order to generate a rubric that will be useful to your course context, it is important to specify the course or assignment learning objectives and share as much information about the assignment as possible. It's also important to provide as much detail about the structure and parameters of the rubric as possible. In this example, I chose to share my assignment description and course learning outcomes in text form. There is also a file upload option in this version of ChatGPT. Now I will provide the task for ChatGPT. Using the course learning outcomes and assignment description shared previously, create a rubric for a first year writing course at a university. The rubric should be in table form with the first column being the list of criteria and the first row being a sequence of assessment values, reading excellent, good, developing, and not present. Write a one-sentence description of the quality of each criterion that will be given for that assessment value category. Also note the predicted level of quality that an AI can reach for each criterion. Now it's time to review the output. As you can see, my rubric is present in a table format. As you can see, the first column includes the specific criteria for the assignment. In what follows are the assessment values of excellent, good, developing, and not present. There is a very brief description of what those assessment values will look like in practice. And lastly, the final column has the AI quality prediction. This tells me what an AI might be capable of doing. For example, when it comes to the research question, the AI might put out work that is at the level of developing. However, for understanding the scholarly conversation, the work of an AI might reach the level of good. From here, I have a few options. I might be happy with what was generated as a starting point and go from there on my own. Seeing the criteria that the AI generated might also help me realize something that is perhaps missing from the rubric, which I could then ask AI to include. Now, for the purpose of this video, let's say that I'm pleased with this version of the rubric that I have. I can ask ChatGPT to create a version that I can upload into my Canvas coursework site. This will allow me to reuse the rubric across multiple sections of my course or across different semesters. Please format this rubric into a Canvas compatible file type. Now I can download this file, save it to my computer, and upload this rubric to my Canvas site. As I mentioned, in this way, the rubric can be used across sections and semesters of my course. ChatGPT 4.0 is available through the Columbia ChatGPT Enterprise accounts managed by CUIT. For more information about acquiring an enterprise account, please contact CUIT. Remember that the CTL is here to help as you experiment with AI in your teaching and learning. We encourage you to visit our website at ctl.columbia.edu to access resources and additional videos, or email us at ctlfaculty.columbia.edu to set up a one-to-one -one consultation.